This challenge, you'll need to trace the path on each level. So let's do a bit of setup first. Press P to access the pen tool. Then set your fill color to none and your stroke to black and your stroke weight to 10. Now that we're all set, let's move on up to level one and learn about the three types of anchor points. First, the corner anchor point. Using the pen tool, all you have to do is click and boom, perfectly straight lines and hard corners. If you want to constrain the lines and corners to 45 degrees, just hold down shift. So gonna just keep clicking wherever I see an anchor point. And when I get to the end of the line, I'll press Command Shift A to deselect the line. And now I can start a new line somewhere else. Quick little side note, if I later decided I wanted to continue this path, no worries. I can just move the pen tool right over the end point and you'll see that I get a little diagonal line icon next to the pen tool, which means I can click and continue to add segments to this path. All right, moving on up to level two where we're going to make some curve anchor points. Curve anchor points will have two handles sticking out. The length of these handles is the amount of influence or force pulling in the direction of the handle. So now that we understand the concept, let's give it a go with this undulating curved line. Starting on the leftmost anchor, I'm going to click and drag up. If I want to lock it to 45s, I can hold down shift. Once I let go, I'm going to move over the next anchor point and click and drag down, holding shift again, and boom, a smooth, perfect curve. Notice that because I clicked and dragged on the second anchor too, the outgoing force is ready to make another curve. So let's go to the next anchor and click and drag up. Oh yeah. And repeat this process and done and done. Again, to end the line, just press Command Shift A. All right, on to level three and the third type of anchor point, the elusive combo point. The combo point has only one handle coming out of the anchor point. And like curve points, creating combo points can be a bit tricky at first. To start, I'm gonna click on this first anchor point and then click and drag up on the second anchor point, just like I was making a curve anchor back in level two. But here is the new trick. Still using the pen tool, I'm gonna hover right back over that curved anchor point I just made. And if I click on it, notice how one of the handles disappears. Now, if I click and drag straight down on the next anchor point, behold, the combo point. All right, from here, I'm just gonna repeat this process of creating a curve anchor point, which I'll convert into a combo point. Again, all you do is click and drag to make a curve, and then click on that point again to convert it to a combo point. So it's click and drag, and then click. Click and drag, and then click. And once we get to the end, I'll hit Command Shift A to end the line. We interrupt this tutorial to bring you a pep talk. Okay, if you found creating curve and combo points is unintuitive and weird, that's normal. You will get better with practice, I promise. Okay, and on to level four, where we get to draw our first complete shape. Very exciting. I'll just start on any corner and connect the dots. And when I get back to the anchor point I started with, notice how I get a little O shape icon next to the pen tool to indicate I've connected the path, creating not just a line, but a closed shape. Okay, moving on up to level five and curved shapes. So here is the trick with creating curved shapes with a pen tool. Just pick one direction, either clockwise or counterclockwise, and stick with it. To demonstrate the wrong way first, behold, I'll start at the top and drag to the right. And now I'll go to the next anchor point, and rather than dragging down and staying clockwise, I'll go counterclockwise, and oh buddy, things get weird. So I'll delete this path and do it the right way. Starting again at the top, I'll hold down shift to lock the handles to 45 degrees and click and drag to the right and click and drag down, click and drag to the left 
and click and drag up. Now, do not just click to close the path on a rounded shape. You're gonna need to click and drag a fifth time in this case to make the entire path composed of smooth curved anchor points. Awesome. So let's cruise up to level six and learn how to make curves another way using the corner widget. Okay, hold down shift and draw essentially a big L shape using just corner anchor points. Great. And once you close that shape, press A to get the old white arrow. Notice if you click on any of these anchor points with the white arrow, you'll get these little circle icons offset just inside the corner. This is a corner widget. And if I drag it, I can curve this corner point. And check this out. If we use the white arrow to drag select a group of anchor points, all of their corner widgets will be visible and they can be changed uniformly. And voila, a tricky looking shape made very easily using the corner widget. Okay, on to level seven, where we see some rather odd looking curved anchor points that will reveal the power of the convert anchor point tool. To start out, use the pen tool and just click on these points to create a closed shape made entirely of corner anchor points. To convert these anchor points to curve anchor points, press Shift C to get the Convert Anchor Point Tool. Okay, if you click and drag over any of these anchor points, notice how it will toggle between curve or corner anchor points. And there's another trick that this tool can perform. If you convert a corner anchor to a curve anchor, you can also use this tool to separate the handles in different directions and in different amounts. And in this way, you can create super organic looking shapes like this cloud here. Moving on up to level eight. Okay, in general, the cleanest way to work with the pen tool is to use as few anchor points as possible and to place anchor points only at the outer and innermost limits of the line or shape and to constrain handles to 90 degree increments. Okay, what did that mean? Okay, if I start at the bottommost point of this shape and drag to the left while holding down shift, then click here on the leftmost point and drag up holding shift and then click to make this corner and then click on the leftmost point, bottommost point, rightmost point, and continue this process of looking for the outer and innermost locations on this path, I can create a much cleaner, smoother line and minimize the overall number of anchor points needed. All right, moving up to level nine, I'm gonna to move to the top of this head and draw half of it all the way down to the neck. Now, wouldn't it be cool if we could copy this line, flip it, and then connect it to make a bilaterally symmetrical object? That's exactly what we're gonna do. Use the black arrow to select the path. To copy and paste this line right on top of itself, press Command-C to copy, and Command-F for front. Now, to flip or reflect this top copy, cruise on over to the Properties panel, and click the Flip Along Horizontal Axis button. And aha, a perfect reflection. Now it's important to realize that just because the vector paths overlap does not mean that they're connected. In fact, trying to fill them in now will result in some serious weirdness. So what you need to do as a final step is connect these two straight lines to form a closed shape. You can do this by either using the pen tool and connecting endpoints, or if you use the white arrow, you can select any two ending anchor points and you can join them together by pressing Command J. And boom, a perfectly bilateral shape. Moving on up to level 10, where the Daddy Shark will teach us one of the best practices of dealing with complex organic shapes. And that is, when possible, start with any straight lines first and then draw curves. So let's start at the back of the dorsal fin and draw a straight line. Then click on the tail here to draw a curve, which we're gonna transform into a combo point by clicking on it again. And now 
a curve anchor in the middle of the fin and another curve at the bottom of the fin, which we'll click on again to make a combo point. And from here, really, it's just repeating the process of clicking and dragging and clicking again to create combo points around the rest of the shark. All right. Uh-huh. Until we get back to the starting point where we can just click and drag to finish that fin and this cool shark. All right, on to level 11. And what is behind those doors? Switch to the black arrow by pressing V, select the doors, and press Command 3 to hide them. Okay, starting with these straight lines here on what is called a serif in typography, I'm going to eventually run into a curve. But here's the new thing. When you drag with the pen tool, the handles pull in equal amounts. But let's say we just keep on going with this pen tool and at least match up the anchor point location and type. Uh-huh. And now you're thinking, oh, buddy. Well, fear not, to the rescue comes the white arrow. Press A to bust it out, and on each of these wonky curves, use the wide arrow to change the length of these handles so that the curves can be made nice and smooth. All right. Uh-huh. Done. 